Hey Peacock family, this is Shawnee. It's a pleasure to have you here. This platform is all about building faith, sharing wisdom, and being truthful. This is a biblical affirmation series, so let's go ahead and jump into the affirmation for today. My ways are pleasant and my paths are peace. This is according to Proverbs 3.17, where it states in the KG version, Her ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace. Now, what God was speaking about in Proverbs 3 specifically was about the rewards of being wise, um, the rewards of following his commandments, meaning all of the laws that God put throughout the Bible. Are we following them? You know, if we're following them, we're able to reap great, great rewards. And Proverbs 3 outlines all of those rewards. And I mean, my goodness, the fact that you can have paths for you that are straight without issues the fact that we can walk in peace daily in and out I mean who wouldn't want that I know I definitely want that for myself and that's something that I like to hone in on when I'm thinking about the scripture I think it's so powerful when you learn the importance of obedience after being disobedient for so long and honestly that's my story y'all me learning how to walk in the wrong ways of life led me to walk into the proper ways of life and I feel like I'm still on this path of discovering some other things that I need to strengthen um, because I, I like to call myself like a baby when it comes to Christianity because I left at some point and I returned and I'm definitely going to do a video speaking more in detail about that because I feel like my testimony is powerful and it's amazing because once I returned I honed in and diligently listen to the Lord and the things that I have been learning have been mind blowing so remember this affirmation throughout today my ways are pleasant and all my paths are peaceful so I want you to think about the ways in which you can be obedient to God's words what has he been telling you to do How can you give him a yes so that way he can make sure that you have peace and that all of your paths are clear, okay? And everything that you align yourself with will be pleasant because though that's God's promise for us. And if that's his promise, he will not return that to us void. We just have to make sure that we're doing things that we're supposed to on our end to make sure that we stay in alignment with God's will for our lives. So if you have not read the whole chapter of Proverbs 3, I encourage you to do it today. It is so good, y'all. I'm telling you, you will get so excited reading it all because it's telling you if I'm wise, what comes along with that wisdom? When I make proper choices, what comes along with doing that? And those reminders can help us to, to be accountable for how we show up with our actions, to be accountable with the decisions that we make in our minds, to be accountable for making sure that we maintain a clean heart, y'all. Now, who doesn't want a clean heart? Y'all, I want to keep my heart pure. I want to keep my body pure. You know, so I'm going to get into this word a little bit more and make sure that you all tune in for tomorrow. There will be an absolute meditation, a five minute meditation for this affirmation. My ways are pleasant and all my paths are peaceful. Until then, be blessed.